I've been reflecting a lot recently, just about the past eight months of my life, right? I talk about April 2022 a lot. April 2022 was the month where I decided to turn around my life. April 2022, April 22nd, 2022, actually, is when I decided to just turn around my life. I said, fuck it, I'm making a change. And I made the change, right? I dropped all my negative habits. I stopped eating junk food. I stopped smoking weed. I stopped everything. And I just went all in on achieving what I wanted to achieve. I lost 60 pounds. I started this YouTube channel, started staying a lot more consistent on it after four or five months of really bettering my life, bettering my mental health, bettering my physical health. I was reflecting on it a lot recently, journaling about it, just thinking. And I came to the conclusion, a large part of why I was so depressed and feeling so anxious and so negative and so guilty, and so shameful, and just so regretful of the way that I was living, a huge portion of why I was feeling that way is because I had no progressive acts in my life, right? And what I mean by that is essentially every day I would wake up and I would do the same things, but I knew that the things that I was doing, smoking weed, playing video games, eating junk food, sitting down, wasting all my time, reading books but not really applying the books, watching videos and not really applying what I'm learning, just being lazy, being unproductive. Those things weren't progressing me towards any goal that mattered to me. So every single day I knew I was staying in the same place. And when you're staying in the same place, you're really just falling behind because time continues to move forward. And if you stay in the same place, if you stop running during a marathon, people are going to pass you right? Because people, people don't stop for you. Neither does time. Time doesn't stop for you. It just continues, right? So I was feeling negative because I was, I was basically stopped in place while time kept moving forward. And I felt like I was just losing my life. And I was, I was losing day upon day upon day, just doing nothing when I could have been pushing forward. And so adding in progressive acts, especially if you're someone who really, really values the feeling of making progress, which you probably do if you're watching this video, you really probably value the feeling of making progress towards your goals and the feeling of accomplishment and the feeling of winning, right? That becomes a very, very valuable feeling in your life. And when you don't feel that ever, because all of the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis are just negative, are just keeping you stagnant, you will start to feel very negative, very regretful, very shameful, very guilty because you know you could be doing more, but you're not. But at that point, when you're in that cycle, continuing to stay stagnant, continuing to stay doing things that won't really bring you anywhere feels more comfortable than getting out of your comfort zone and actually doing things that will allow you to feel that accomplishment, make that progress. So a lot of it starts with just awareness. At that point in my life in April, I was very aware of the fact that I hated my life. I was very aware of the fact that I was wasting all my time. I was very aware of the fact that I was very overweight. I was very aware of all of the negative things in my life. But it took like this click in my brain to be like, there's no, there's no way for me to continue down this path and feel good. But there's also no way for me to make the pivot and feel good in the moment regardless. Do you understand what I mean? If I stay going down that path where I'm feeling guilty, regretful, shameful, etc., I won't feel good in the moment and I won't feel good later. If I make the pivot, I might even feel worse in the moment because I have to make a change and change is uncomfortable. But down the line, I'll feel better. And now I'm down the line and I feel way better because now I've lost 60 pounds. Now I'm not addicted to weed. Now I'm not addicted to junk food. Now I'm not addicted to video games. Now I'm not addicted to instant gratification. Now I'm not stuck in this place where I feel like I'm making no progress. Every single day I'm making progress. And it's not just like I'm saying every single day I'm making progress. I track it all. So now I know I can literally look back. I can scroll down on my phone. I can like flip pages back in my journal and I can see the progress. I can see the changes that I've made. 
there's proof. It's undeniable that I'm making progress every single day because I track it every single day and I put in the work every single day. Sometimes I get L's, right? Sometimes I have my like daily W's journal. I get my W's the past. I was on a six day streak yesterday. Yesterday, I remember I wrote in my journal in my like little morning reflect and reassess portion. I wrote today's going to be day number seven. I lost yesterday. I overate a little bit. Not, not, it, it honestly wasn't even enough to, to really warrant putting an L on that page. But I knew personally for myself, I didn't give a hundred percent in that area. I didn't track as, as much as I should have. I didn't track as clearly as I should have. I ate a little bit too much. I ate a little bit extra. So I had to check myself and be like, no, just because I want this seven day streak doesn't mean I can lie to myself about the fact that I didn't really follow through today. Today's an L. And now today I woke up, I reflect on it, and I say, today is going to be a W, right? So as I go through this process, I can look back in my journal and be like, okay, L, W, 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 like, it's mainly wins, right? It's important, man, (laughs) to be able to see the progress that you make. And at the beginning, (laughs) if you do this like daily Ws, there's going to be a lot of Ls. For me at the beginning, there was a lot, right? But eventually you'll get to the point where maybe you're winning four days out of seven. And that's more than 50%, right? You're winning the week. And then time will just continue and go forward. Implement progressive acts in your life. Think about things that will make you feel accomplished, feel proud, and feel like you're progressing towards goals that matter to you. Implement those things and track the progress. And as you start to build up that proof of yourself, the proof that you're actually making progress, you'll feel so much better. So much better. I promise you. I hope this video helped you, maybe made you think or change your perspective in some way. Scroll down, hit subscribe, check my Instagram, because I'm always on Instagram now. I appreciate you watching. Take care.